this is Kaylee Vandertulip with the West Library. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get an account for and use Grammarly through the library. To get an account for Grammarly, go to westlibrary.txwest.edu, go to our online resources, and go to Grammarly. So, westlibrary.txwest.edu, online resources, A to Z, click on G, and go to Grammarly. Or you can go to grammarly.com slash edu slash students. You'll need this page to go to create account. Enter whichever name you care to in this place. Your email address needs to be your txwest.edu email address. This is how they know that the library has already paid for your Grammarly account. You'll create whichever password you want and leave access code blank, then click continue. You'll get an email confirming your address and you'll click that and then you'll be able to start using Grammarly to check your papers. So the first time I log in, I've got a nice clean document to work from. I'm gonna take a paper that I've been working on and copy it and paste it into Grammarly. So this is going to search for all kinds of issues in my writing. Spelling errors, usage errors such as the difference between a possessive and a contraction. Uh, it's going to look for pronoun agreement, subject verb agreement, and I can go through and see this is why it says it's wrong and it gives examples of when it's supposed to be used this way. So in this, I have an horrific death, and it explains that when it has the H sound, it should actually be A. So I can have that correction and go on to the next error. Occasionally, you'll come on an error, and it'll say one thing is incorrect and should be something different, when really you just need to rewrite the entire sentence. And, but that lets you know this is an awkward sentence that should not be written this way. You have the choice to ignore anything you don't have to use their suggestions if it doesn't sound right to you. You can just click ignore. When you're done going through the suggestions that it has, you'll want to click the plagiarism checker. This will look to see if you've accidentally forgotten to include a citation if you've directly taken something from another source. This works very much like the uh, plagiarism checker in Turnitin. So if your professor requires you to your work in that way. This will be a much faster check to see if you inadvertently plagiarized. Expect to get a very similar percentage in Turnitin that you would get in Grammarly. So if you know that your professor checks for that, this would again be a good way to check to see if you've accidentally plagiarized. A benefit of using Grammarly before you put something in through Turnitin is it will give you a suggestion for what citations should look like in that citation style. So you can use what is given here as a sample as a sample citation and it may help you create better citations. Obviously not everything is going to need a citation. There are only so many ways to say certain phrases and just because you happen to say the same phrase doesn't mean it's actually plagiarized. Um, but it does help give you an idea so this entire section, which is taken from Wikipedia, comes up really quickly. So that's how to use Grammarly straight from the web page. There are a couple of other ways that you can use Grammarly as well. This is really helpful for copying and pasting something from a Word document or whatever you're using into Grammarly. But if you don't want to go back to the web page, you have two really good options. There's Grammarly for web browsers, which you can get straight from the Grammarly.com web page.
So the one you're going to want is the free version of Grammarly and it can be added to, this one is automatically going to add to my Chrome because that's what I use. So when you add this to Chrome, it'll add the little button here and then when you go into social media or even into Blackboard, it will check your t uh, spelling for you. You can also use this add-in to check work while you're working in Windows. You can download Grammarly for your computer. I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. And it will load. I'll go through the setup. So I can come in here and enable Grammarly. This takes away the hassle of having to go to the Grammarly web page, fix everything, and then paste it back in the document. I can actually have everything fixed in here. Now you'll notice Word already does spelling check and it already does grammar check, but it misses a lot of other stuff that Grammarly will catch. My biggest sin in writing is the passive voice. So it will give me suggestions and it will tell me what the passive voice looks like and how to correct it and why to correct it. Again, I can change this based on various types of writing. So this will give me a lot more detail, uh, which is very helpful for those of you who are in, in different fields, so medical, educational writing. Uh, casual, it's going to be a little easier going. If I change this to my blog, it's not going to catch nearly as much as it did. Um, but it is still going to catch things like subject-verb agreement, uh, things that will make me look kind of silly in an online argument. And I can still do plagiarism. I can also do vocabulary enhancement. Some of us have issues using the same words too often. I use vague words in here, so it's going to suggest much more specific words. It'll punch up your writing a little bit. Um, so try and use that. If for some reason there is a problem with Grammarly, you can either email TX, uh, reference desk at txwest.edu or you can send Grammarly a support ticket and they can typically get it fixed for you very quickly. I hope you find this tool useful.